गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट धर्मिस्टर एक्सपेरिमेंट सो हियर द बोर्ड नेम यू हैव धर्मिस्टर कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ओके दिस इज टोटल बोर्ड इट इज कनेक्टेड आई हैव शोन इन द लास्ट वीडियो हाउ टू कनेक्ट दिस कनेक्शन ऑफ दिस धर्मिस्टर विद यूर दिस इज यूर हीटिंग एलिमेंट इन साइड सो आई हैव प्लेस हियर धर्मोमीटर दिस इज यूर धर्मोमीटर आई एल टेक आउट एंड आई एल शो यू दिस इज अ धर्मोमीटर so i'll keep here and i'll show you here so inside thermometer is immersed inside so see here yeah this is your thermometer see the bead what you are going to observe here so that is thermometer see i'll show you clearly thermometer this thermometer is immersed inside the oil so copper bowl it is contain oil we have taken here the crude oil we have taken so otherwise you take out engine oil you have take out uh, coconut oil okay different way you have take out i am going to impress here uh, this thermometer here okay sorry i'll place out here <coughs> thermistor and uh, i'll connect it here thermistor connections so it is taken out okay to measure the temperature of the thermistor now i'll place out uh, thermometer i'll place out thermometer so this cock will going to help it will not going to touch the bowl okay it will not going to touch the bowl if you are going to if it is going to touch the bowl it will take out the temperature of the bowl it will not going to take out the temperature of your thermistor okay oil temperature mean oil temperature means thermistor temperature okay so we are going to study about the characteristics of the that thermistor only now this is the power of an button now i have connected and i have shown in the last uh, video about how to connect this galvanometer to your uh, thermistor and uh, this is to galvanometer to use the balance the circuit and uh, uh, here from here we are going to measure the resistance okay if knob will going will not going to work suppose sometimes will not going to act properly so exact reading you will uh, you need for the this is the manual way we are going to take out the reading you need a digital way you are going to take out uh, so sometimes i am going to use here um, multimeter so you will get exact values you will get okay okay even though i am going to start this experiment and i'll show you uh, okay you know that ex uh, what is the aim of this experiment see i'll show you here aim to draw the temperature versus resistance characteristics of thermistor and to evaluate so thermistor constants to evaluate the constants means thermistor constant you are going to evaluate so now means we are going to study about the characteristics of thermistor now here we have the formula so what is the formula you have see alpha you are going to find out so that is called the thermistor coefficient and uh, it is there in a a and b is a constant that is called thermistor constant we are going to take out from these graphs okay from this graph a and b second graph we are going to find out uh, thermistor constant and uh, here alpha you are going to find out from the first graph okay so this is your uh, circuit diagram how to connect uh, uh, this galvanometer with the, with your thermistor okay see clearly he shown here that here thermistor disconnected to the wittsen bridge wittsen bridge okay what is the use of wittsen bridge to find out the unknown resistance correct or not so it is a uh, both are constant uh, one is a variable we have other side we connected here thermistor so we know that thermistor is a now thermistor receives the temperature and gives the values of resistance okay that's why in place of resistance we are connected here thermistor why because indirectly we have to say thermistor is a resistance so clearly now the bowl you have bowl inside we have the oil oil inside thermo thermometer we have placed here so that is the arrangement we have we have taken here and i'll switch on and i'll take out the readings and i'll show you that okay so in the table i'll come uh, in the table what you have so temperature in degree centigrade okay so temperature i have to measure temperature of what thermistor means temperature of oil we are going to uh, take out so t capital t in kelvins okay kelvins means you have to add what you are getting the value 273 you have to add then you will get capital t then 1 by t uh, you have to do it by using the t t you will get suppose 300 you got 1 by 300 you will take out resistance you are measuring here okay so log base r that particular resistance we will take out that is the table 
now this is the arrangement i am going to switch on the power supply okay it is not in on position now when i am going to switch on so what you are going to observe here so the galvanometer is not placed at one particular point means it is not on the zero okay now means uh, now the circuit is not balanced the circuit is not balanced is that these two are constant resistance we have these two are constant resistance another side where it is connected uh, where we are going to measure this resistance so opposite side it is the thermistor symbol you have it is connected to thermistor connection okay where we have thermistor connection means it is not balanced this galvanometer if it is balanced the knob will show see shows exactly at zero okay so by moving this knob and we will going to balance at zero see that i am how i am going to balancing here at zero right here so i'll start the experiment i am going to switch on this power supply of your heater i am going to switch on when i am going to heat this oil the temperature inside this thermometer will going to increase increases slowly see here uh, now i'll show you in the video it's a very see the this is uh, where it is i'll try to show okay okay now where it is there in temperature now it will shows now at 30 okay it's not clear in the video but uh, it shows exactly 30 thermometer you see but it's a very very transparent it uh, it shows here at exactly the level of your mercury is at 30 now when i'm going to switch on the slowly it is going to increase and uh, we have to increase we will check out this temperature up to 70 up to 70 value now i'm going to move like this okay 70 and then switch off your uh, uh, heater then by using the oil so it will go up to 100 it will go up to 100 you will get okay so see that that i'm see clearly now now you are getting here see that your mercury level is here at this point at this point you have see that at this point you have the mercury level when I'm going to switch on that, slowly it is increasing. Increasing. You have to wait up to 70. Then switch off your power supply. Where is the power supply you have? Here you have the power supply. Okay. Switch off that and uh, slowly it will going to increase. And switch off and I'm going to switch on at 70. 70. So then slowly it is increased up to 90. Because of oil, uh, your thermistor is invested inside the oil. Now bowl will going to lose its temperature. To the oil so the oil is going to heat more then it will going to increase up to 80 or 90 while cooling will take out the while cooling you will get a good values you are getting so that's why so i'll take out the reading for the cooling okay when it is going to heat see before i have placed it at zero when i'm when it is heating there is an imbalanced circuit means imbalanced this Whitstone bridge it shows you here imbalanced one but because i placed it at zero this knob now it shifted to this side okay it's showing that uh, when i'm when this uh, uh, oil will going to heat the thermistor will show some uh, will give you some resistance because of that resistance the circuit will going to imbalance okay that gives you these values that gives you this value okay this much imbalance here that, that much resistance is given so that resistance we are going to find out using this knob okay exactly where this uh, white color white color we have no where it is exactly this line uh, will going to match so that suppose imagine this is the suppose you are four okay i will take out one two three here this is the one this is two this is three so some 2.4 into we saying that into 100 ohms e means ohms 100 ohms that you have to do and you have to place out that value at resistance at resistance here we have to place out okay temperature versus resistance we are measuring temperature versus resistance in the two columns only we are taking here then manually you will take out uh, t one by t and uh, log base cr you do it then after that you have to take out the graphs this thing you have to do it okay slowly i'll going to show total experiment just you stick on the video i'll going to show you